Good morning, J.J. Watt. He has been released from the Houston Texans. Mitchell Rance from Chat Sports, ready to break it all down for you here. And we're going to take a deep dive into his top five teams that could go out and sign the star defensive tackle. But first, let's hit you with the news here. So not really that I'm ultimately surprised. We made a video about a month ago about potential J.J. Watt destinations. And, well, we were right again here at Chat Sports. So Houston has released Watt today after 10 seasons or he had a one-year $17.5 million left on his contract. By the fact that the Houston moves on from him, they save $17.5 million. Personally, I actually thought they were going to be able to at least get some sort of draft capital in a trade, but they decide to move on from the veteran. So all reports are pointing that he looks that he is going to end up signing with a contender, and... By all means, he absolutely deserves so. So after 2020, he played in 16 games, and I'll be honest with y'all, I thought he might have been done after eight games in 2019 where he has battled several injuries. 2018, he also showed why he is one of the, been, he's probably been one of the greatest defensive tackles that I've ever seen in my lifetime. But let's look at the 2020 stats. 52 tackles, 14 tackles for loss, and five sacks on a, well, Let's just be honest. A pretty bad Houston football team that went 4-12. and 12. So be honest with me here, okay? This is what chat sports is all about. We love being able to break things down for y'all, but what sports if you can't talk to people about them? So go down in the comments section right now, and I promise you this will not be the very first and only question that I ask you on today's show. How many years does J.J. Watt have left? Scroll on down and let me know. So there's been a lot of problems in Houston. So, like, you know they're saying, Houston, we have a problem. Their problem is by the name of Jack Easterby. And since this dude was hired in 2019, they call him Pastor Jack. He's been just doing horrible, horrible things to this organization. So here are some departures since 2019, since Easterby. Brian Gain, the general manager, he left. They traded DeAndre Hopkins to, well, the Arizona Cardinals. Bill O'Brien, the head coach, he left. He is now with the Alabama Crimson Tide as the OC. Amy Palsic. The head of PR, she was regarded as one of the most nicest, one of the best women in that organization. When they ended up moving on from her, I mean, all hell out broke loose. And then Jamie Roots, literally just a week ago, he leaves too. Jack Easterby, I'm telling you right now, he's the problem in Houston. So what do we do here? We always cover the latest news and rumors around the NFL, and we're also trying to keep you guys updated in the offseason. When breaking news happens, we cover it. When a star player like J.J. Watt gets released, we make videos about top destinations. So... If you guys are always looking for new videos around the best and most trendy NFL topics, hit that big red button that, sub that says subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss a thing. So let's get in now to the top five destinations. I base these overall based on, we'll say, t team need and teams trying to contend right now. At number five, we have the New England Patriots. Why? He would be a great fit underneath Bill Belichick. Why? He is one of the hardest working dudes still left in football. There are stories about him making his teammates get up 4 or 5 in the morning during the offseason to go work out. That sounds like a guy that would be best friends with Bill Belichick. Plus, if he was going to make $17.5 million, I don't know if that's how much he's obviously going to make now that he's been released, but he's still going to want a hefty paycheck. The New England Patriots, they have the fourth most in cap space. The question is, are the Patriots close enough to winning after a 7-9 and nine season? So this is going to be the pinned comment on today's video. For those of you that don't know what that means, it means I'm going to make it the very, very top comment on the vid. So everyone that comes across this, I want you to click on that. Comment below, where will J.J. Watt play in 2021? Number four team here on my list, it's the Cleveland Browns after a very impressive 11-5 season. Pairing Watt with Miles Garrett not only sounds great, it, it would be great. Browns actually also might be a pretty solid destination for free agents after making the playoffs. And, well, money talks, and they do have enough cap space to go out and pay him what he does truly deserve. The other issue with that is you got to go to the AFC North, which is arguably one of the most competitive divisions right now in the National Football League for the simple facts of... Well, you're going to have to go up against teams like the Baltimore Ravens. You're going to have to go up against a team like the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it's funny, as soon as J.J. Watt went on Twitter, he made a video and was talking about, you know, that he's going to end up leaving. And his brother T.J. Watt posts a gif that just has, like, this whole thing going on. Like, 
Come on down. It's the Rock saying, come on down to Pittsburgh. It's absolutely a destination. Why not pair him with his brothers? The Buffalo Bills, the best team in the AFC East, 13-3. and They need a defensive tackle. The Las Vegas Raiders, he can make a lot of money there. No taxes, obviously. Plus, it's a major need, and that's what Gus Bradley wants, is a defensive tackle. The Indianapolis Colts, they're definitely a fit as well. There's actually already been some connections there. And the Chicago Bears. Why? His wife plays professional soccer in Chicago. Maybe he wants to go to the Windy City where he can spend a little bit more time with wifey. Speaking of wifey, make sure you got her something nice for Valentine's Day. Go to chatsports.com slash flowers because your, your booty's going to be on the free agent market if you don't get her something special. Now, maybe you don't have a wifey. It's all good. Girlfriend, significant other, mom, grandma, doesn't matter. All you need to do on Valentine's Day is make sure that you show them that you care, that make sure that you show them that you're thinking about them. And the easiest way to do it, leave it to the professionals. Flowers, chocolates, uh, they have bath stuff, they have all sorts of amazing goodies and gifts at the link that you see below. It's chatsports.com slash flowers. Why should you go there? I mean, you can save 15% off on all flowers and gifts, and it's really super simple. So I'm going to put that link for you all in the comments and in the description. If for some reason you can't look down at the screen right now and see that it's chatsports.com slash flowers. Top three time here. The Tennessee Titans, you could reunite Watt with Mike Vrabel. Some of the best years, if not the best years of J.J. Watt's career, came with Mike Vrabel. Titans, they badly need more pass rush help. There's no doubt about that. Now, sure, in the offseason, they tried to add a guy like Jadeveon Clowney. They were hoping that Vic Beasley was going to be something, and that just never happened. The, one of the biggest issues with Tennessee, this is a football team that predicates itself on being a tough freaking team, and they are on offense. They run the football down your throat. They have a good offensive line, but the defense last year, especially the defensive line, they got beat up, and maybe J.J. Watt wants to go up against the Houston Texans twice a year. Let's get in now to my top two teams, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the defending Super Bowl champs. You want to win now? Seems like a pretty good way to do that is by going out and getting Tom Brady on your football team. Several free agents on the defensive line, one being Indomitian Sue. I would have much rather have J.J. Watt instead of Sue. Are they going to be able to pay guys like Levante David, Shaq Barrett? Plus, they do have plenty of, plenty of cap space, a willingness to go in right now. And let's be real, if you're J.J. Watt and somebody said, hey, what's your most important thing now at age 31? I would imagine him saying getting a ring. I think the easiest way to get a ring from what I've learned in my 27 years of existence is go play with a guy by the name of Tom Brady. So we got one more team here, and before I break it all down, how many out there play Madden? i actually not the biggest fan of Madden. I don't really have the time to play video games. I'm just being honest with you. But I do want you to go down in the comments section and let me know, how good is J.J. Watt? Rate him like you would in the game from 0 to 100. 0, basically, he's the worst football player that has ever existed. 100, he's still the GOAT, and he's the best defensive tackle in the National Football League. The number one team here, it's the Green Bay Packers. And actually, they really weren't in our first video that we did because we didn't know if it was going to ultimately happen. But now the Packers have already emerged and said that they're, well, it looks like they're being connected and having some interest in Watt. He could get to go home, play in Wisconsin, played college football at Wisconsin, grew up a Packers fan, and, well, they could definitely use another interior defensive lineman to pair with Kenny Clark. The Green Bay Packers, they're a good football team, obviously. They still are the team that I believe is going to run the NFC North. But if they really want to get over the hump and they really want to take an extra push, you need to add some extra defensive help, especially on the defensive line. Plus for Green Bay, I understand they have limited cap space, but maybe, just maybe, Watt wants to go to a contender, play for his favorite team growing up as a kid, and be close to family. That seems like all the things that could be potentially where Watt would be able to eat some of his salary and say, you know what, all I'm doing is chasing a ring right now. That's why the Green Bay Packers are number one here on the list. Now, if you've enjoyed the video so far, we're getting ready to wrap this bad boy up. If you don't agree with my honorable mentions, if you don't agree with my top five, it's all good. Like, that's why we make these shows to interact with our fans here. So go down in the comments section right now. Let me know where you guys think J.J. Watt is going to play. And make sure you're always joining us for Monday sh live shows, Wednesday live shows. They start at one or 4 p.m. Eastern time, 1 p.m. Pacific. So just another reason to hit that big red button that says subscribe and go ahead and turn on those notifications because J.J. Watt, he has been released from the Houston Texans after 10 amazing seasons. Not only is J.J. Watt a great football player, I do want to just read you this real quick here, okay? J.J. Watt. I mean, in terms of what he's been able to do for Houston, he has raised $200,000, okay, 
for Houston. And then he ended up raising more than $37 million. Not only are you going to get a great football player, you're going get to get a great person in your locker room. So, J.J., I wish you the best of luck. And whoever ends up signing you, they're going to get a great football player and a great human being.